In this uh, session, we are going to have a very brief introductory aspect of the dashboards. See, till now, we have created different kinds of visualizations using different kinds of charts in Tableau. And the purpose of each of the visualization was it was giving you a snapshot of the data that you had worked with. And many a times it has given you an answer to at least one or more questions regarding the data. It has answered one or more queries regarding your objectives. But sometimes the whatever the discovery and the analysis that you have done they should be sufficient to make a very key decision one or two graphs one or two visualizations they should be sufficient enough to make a very important decision but sometimes it may be very much necessary that i have to bring all those visualizations that i have created separately I have to bring them together so that I can really present a kind of comprehensive story to my audience. Whosoever are my intended audience, I can build a comprehensive story to them. And that is what we are calling it as a dashboard. Different kinds of visualizations which are more and more related to each other, which can communicate the full story of a particular business problem is what we are calling as a dashboard. Now, from the perspective of the dashboard, one, there could be a static or there could be a dynamic. Dynamic, sometimes I call it as interactive as well. So, static is, it is presenting different aspects. So, you can go through them, right? And uh, you can really take your decision. Whereas, when we are saying more and more interactive, where the user, now user can start playing around with it, right? There is some kind of a dynamic uh, filtering. So, he can really look at only some portion of the data instead of all or there will be some kind of a mechanism where uh, the user can drill down the data explore it in much more detail so a lot of interactions can be done by the user then we call that kind of a dashboard as a dynamic dashboard now for us when we are working with tableau again tableau helps us to create these kind of dashboards quite effectively but our focus should always be to understand why and how the different aspects of the dashboard, how they work and why I need to bring all of them together. Right? So, when we take up a few examples, that is what we are going to look at. But before we take up the examples, we have to really understand what are the different kinds of objectives, right? What are the different kinds of objectives that are typically accomplished by the dashboard? Whenever we are planning a dashboard, it should give me a good story. It should help me in creating a good story. There should be a clear picture of some kind of information about the data. Right about uh, the business objective, I should be able to create a story. I should have a clear picture based on the information that I am collecting. So, I need to really work out on what is the story, how I should tell the story to my intended audience. Right now, how I should tell the story could depend on, first of all, who is my audience? Is it uh, the top management or is it uh, the users of a particular product who are uh, just uh, uh, have a minimum knowledge about the business? 
who are my intended audience uh, are are they very uh, regular uh, non tech savvy kind of a people do they use it uh, over mobile right how they really access it what are the different points of access for the users and what is the response that i am really expecting from my users with that particular story so keeping all these things in mind if i have to really define what a dashboard is which is actually a uh, defined by stephen few the way he has looked at the dashboard is one it's a visual display a simple uh, if i have to bring some key aspects of his definition it's a visual display of the most important information not all garbage right it's a visual display of the most important uh, most important information which is really intended to achieve one or more objectives right i should have one or more objectives in mind collect the data and present the most important information consolidated and arranged in a single screen that is what he is simply called as a dashboard the intention is the whole information can be monitored at a glance so some of the important points when we are doing this story building kind of an exercise a few important points that we really need to understand so one there is an important information as uh, we have already understood there should be an important information which i need to communicate which means anything that is not supporting that important information i can simply exclude it and i should uh, i should create some key objectives out of the story which i wanted to tell i should have key objectives okay sometimes the objective could be just information giving a very simple or it could be a for further exploration of the data i am giving some kind of a tool for you to typically explore and come out with your conclusion or this work which i am doing should help you to take some action or it should help you to make some good decision so those form my key objectives so i should keep that objective in mind and design my story and last but not the least it should be very easily accessible right the the user should not have a difficulty in using this storyboard right so this should be kept in mind when we are designing a dashboard so now coming to the perspective of tableau it's basically a set of worksheets whenever we talk about dashboard it's a set of worksheets along with various other components with that worksheets i use some legends i use some quick filters i use some parameters we have designed we have created all these things i use some text i use some images so all these things along with the worksheet when they start playing on one single canvas that is what we are calling as the dashboard so basically it is like all the visualizations which are present on all the worksheets and all these other components they should really work together to communicate a very interesting story about a particular company or about a particular business and they should be more and more interactive in nature that is what will make the dashboards stand up so when you are looking at your objectives you should not be away from that so all you must have created different visualizations on the lines of your objectives itself but now what requires is how well you can package them so that the discovery and the analysis that you have done it creates created into a meaningful communication to the intended audience so the different kinds of dashboards that typically come up right 
one, I can have a guided analysis. So I, my dashboard can guide the user for performing a particular analysis. So I have done the analysis, I have made the discoveries. So the representation, whatever I am doing, is giving me a deeper understanding of the entire story. So I can use it for that purpose. Or I can really make my dashboard exploratory. See, today I might have given some conclusion, but tomorrow that may not be applicable at all. So many a times I may not even know when the data is refreshed, what will happen to the story. Today I might have said that uh, XYZ is a critical product. But tomorrow when the data is refreshed, I may find that XYZ is no more a critical product. So, I am not giving a direct picture there. Right? So, today it might be a significant step, but tomorrow it may not be. Or it could be vice versa. So, basically in an exploratory process, I have to give only a kind of analytical tool. My dashboard is simply an analytical tool which will really have the benefit uh, for the user to explore it, play around with it and finally come out with some kind of conclusions or some kind of interpretations which could be applicable at that particular point in time. Or the third way is my dashboard can really act as a scorecard or a status snapshot. I can create my dashboard purely as this kind. Because on one side, all the, everyone in the organization could have widely uh, agreed on the KPIs, key performance indicators, metrics, which talk about good performance, bad performance, etc. Now, all I want to do as a part of my dashboard is provide that kind of a high level summary one and probably details so that people can really uh, dig through it and quickly find whatever are the problems and what are the areas of improvement. So my dashboard should be uh, comfortable in doing that. And the fourth style of dashboard that I can think of is a narrative dashboard where I know what is the story that I have to tell. The only thing is I have to tell it very clearly. Right? So I can perform some kind of exploration in it. I can have a guided analysis in it. I can have a storyboard or uh, performance related aspects in it. But I am showing, I know what I need to communicate, but I have to do it in a much, much better manner. So there is a clarity on what to do, but how well I narrate it creates an impact. So when we are creating dashboards in Tableau, all these things really need to be kept in mind and they will definitely uh, help us to come out with much better dashboards telling a much better story based on the different visualizations of the data. Alright, so thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much.